To make my summer crochet baby booties pattern, I'm using Patterns Big Baby 4 Ply, which is a baby weight or lightweight yarn. And I've chosen a greeny teal colour. And it's suggested to use a 3.25 millimeter hook, but I'm using a three millimeter hook. I'm also using a, a craft scissors and a yarn needle. Now this yarn can be purchased through the Lingcraft link below. And to make this pattern, if you want to follow the written pattern, you'll find that uh, through the link below in the description box also. And you'll find other sizes there. But today I'll be showing you the newborn size. This pattern is very easy and it's for the beginner. So firstly, we'll start off with a slip knot and we're going to leave about a 20 centimeter yarn tail because we'll need that to sew with later. So do your slip knot and with your three millimeter hook we're going to make 18 chain stitches one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And remembering this is for the newborn size. For other sizes you'll find it through the pattern link below. Okay, now for the first row we're going to do a one double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook. So one, two, three, four, and we'll do a double crochet. Now I'm just going to zoom in so you can see this a little better. And now we're going to double crochet into each chain stitch right along the foundation chain. So continue on making your double crochet stitches into each chain stitch along right to the end and I'll see you at the end. I'm at the end of row one and that's what it'll look like. Now we'll turn our work and for row two we're going to do a single crochet into the first stitch here and then we're going to chain one and that counts as your first double crochet stitch and why I've done it that way uh, is because it's neater than doing three chain stitches because if I do three chain stitches it sort of loops out and leaves a big hole but if I do a single crochet and a chain stitch it's a lot neater. Now for this second row we're going to do a double crochet into each stitch along the row. Mm. 
and you're working into both loops of the stitch. So continue on making your double crochet stitch into each stitch along and I'll see you at the end. So at the end of row 2 you will need to work a stitch into the turning chain which is the three chain stitches there because that is considered as a stitch. So just going to do a double crochet into that third chain stitch to finish row two. Then you'll turn your work and this is what it's looking like so far. So we're crocheting up a square and then we're going to be shaping it with the yarn needle to turn it into a booty. For all the following rows you'll repeat row 2 which is the one that we just did and you'll repeat it until your work measures up to the size that you need. Now for a newborn I'm, I'm making up to a 7 centimeters, so I'll be crocheting up to here which is Let's see, almost three inches. So continue with row two until you have the length that you need and then I'll show you how to make up the booty. And as a tip, if you're wondering at the end of each of all the following rows whether you do crochet into the top of that chain one where we made a single crochet and a chain one, yes you do you do do a double crochet into the top of that chain one at the end of each row because it is considered as a double crochet stitch. So after having repeated row two to get the length for the foot that you need, I've got mine at seven centimeters now which is approximately just a little under three inches and at this point we're going to finish off and I'm going to leave about 20 centimeter uh, thread uh, yarn so that I can use that to sew, sew the booty up So now we'll need our yarn needle and where the foundation chain is, which is this side here, we're going to get that yarn tail and thread it through our yarn needle. And holding it like that, we're going to sew our yarn through each loop. So I'm just going to zoom in for you to see a little better. just going to go into each loop if I turn it on this side it's a bit easier no it's not I'll turn it around this way
So if you continue right along the row, inserting a hook into each of those loops on the foundation chain, and then I'll show you what we do at the end here. So I'm up to the end here, and the last stitch we're going to is that chain stitch on the end there. Now I've got my wrong side facing me here. Now what we're going to do is just pull on our yarn that we've just threaded through and it's going to bunch up. And this is the toe that we're forming here. going to be the toe. And you've still got the wrong side facing out. The right side is inside there. So just make sure you've got that tight enough. And then we're just going to join into the other side here. Just by slipping your needle in and that will draw the toe together. And you can just make a little another loop there. Make a knot. Just to secure it. I'll just put my yarn back in my heat my needle. It's just popped out. Now with the same piece of yarn, we're just going to sew so fold fold the work in half. This is still the wrong side facing out. And we're just going to sew a quarter way up the top of the booty here. Now I'm not the best sewer so you'll probably do a better job than me. You just try and line everything up and do the best job you can. So I'd say you go up to about there. Just a quarter way up because you need this this area here to fit the foot into. So I'm just doing a fairly rough job here just to give you the idea of what to do. And uh, now we can just make a knot there. And then I just like to run the needle back down through there to secure the yarn into the work and then trim that off. So that's the toe done. Now with the other yarn tail, which is at the uh, back of the foot, you just thread that through your needle. And then we're going to, so still wrong side facing out. Now this is a little bit easier because we've got actual stitches to work with here so we know what we're stitching into. And uh, I just catch the first one there. And then bring it across into the first one there. And then just run it through. 
the stitches down this way. And then just make a knot at the bottom and then you can run the yarn back up where we just did all of those stitches there and then you can trim off and you'll turn the booty into the right way that's what you'll get at the end of it. So it looks like a little rocket. <laughs> so I've got my baby model Darla here. So I've got her feet for you to see and she has a newborn size foot. She's got a little chubby feet actually. But I can still get these on. Oops, the toes popped out there. Just so you can get an idea of what they look like when they're actually on the foot. And uh, that's that's about all there is to making a summer crochet baby booty. So you'll need to make another one. And I've got my other one here. Now you can do a row of slip stitches around the ankle here if you wanted to uh, give it a neater finish or even try it in another colour um, just as a something different and you can pop buttons on or anything you like but there you go that's uh, what they look like.